Hi guys, so as you know, we are making a series on Kotlin basics for beginners. And in our last video, we have learned about override how we you can override the functions of a parent class into child class and how you can use them. So today we are going to learn about polymorphism. So guys, this video is coming after a long time, after five six days. So you can go again and check the previous videos to brush up again and so with the what so let's start with polymorphism for this i, I have just made a polymorphism example.kt file and we are going to work on it so what is polymorphism in oops basically so polymorphism is, refers to the ab ability of a variable a function or object to take uh, to take on multiple forms in programming language basically uh, way define polymorphism is like that we can define a function variable or a function which can perform with the same name or which can perform multiple operations or we can say multiple forms so poly means many uh, phys means forms so this is how you can say it like this like basically ability of a function variable or object to take on multiple forms so let's see it with an example so <coughs> so for this let's make a class here let's make a class of shape so we are going to uh, learn it with the help of a simple example which is a shape so basically what is um, we have the shapes like for example circle square triangle these are all our shapes uh, uh, circle is a shape uh, triangle is a shape and uh, uh, square is a shape so let's start and let's see how we can how polymorphism helps us in having these so let's define a function area in it side it right so we have defined a function area and in this this is going to return us the double so here we can return 0 0.0 so this is a function so guys in our previous video you have learned like to make a class uh, open like to um, be parent class to be inherited in child class what we have to do is we have to use open keyword and also for the same for the function we have to use open keyword so we have made this class so let's now make a class of circle so circle is a class which is inherited from shape right so what we can do is like this and we just need to define yeah so the class the circle class is inherited from the shape class so we are going to find the area of circle as well so for this let's override the area function which is yeah this is the function area right and here let's just pass the radius of the circle we can say it like radius which is which we can have it like double right so what is the then formula of area of a circle this is basically math dot pi into radius to the r square basically so yeah this is we have defined a circle class and we have defined it like this we can make it privately giving a simple warning so now let's start let's make a another class that is square which is also a shape right and let it inherit the parent function of area so for the square as well let's have a we can say radi radius or you can say side length or anything you want we can say it like uh, one side or something like this side which is also double so what's the 
uh, like how we can find the scale area is basically uh, side into side sorry so guys this is how we can find the areas and this is how we define here like the circle class and scale class both are from shape it's pin class and now let's try to make <coughs> objects for both oh, circle and it is a circle equals to circle and radius you can pass on like 2.0 right so same way we let's have a scale object and that is scale equals to scale and we have to pass the side 3.0 right so here you can see like both of the objects are circle is having the reference of circle class scale is having the reference of square class and let's try finding out the area print uh, let's have the circle area circle area that is we can sorry we can use it like this circle dot area same way let's try to find out print and square area and which is nola square dot area yeah and now let's run it and we will see like it will give us the uh, area of circle and area of square so <coughs> sorry so this is how guys you can uh, inherit uh, first of all classes and uh, from the parent class and now we will see how polymorphism helps us here and how, what is the correct definition how let just let it just finish yeah scared circle area is 12.5 and this and scale area is 9 so yeah so here we have what we are seeing is they both are having the reference of circle class and square class but what we can do here is as well as here is shape we can pass on the reference of shape class their parent class so what polymorph polymorphism says us to is parent can hold the reference to its child and called method of child so basically we can pass on with the because in with the polymorphism we can pass on the reference of uh, parent class and still let's run it and you can see it is going to give us the same result so yeah so this is what how you can define like with the polymorphism the same function it is when it is like implemented in different different class it behaves differently so area function taking different different forms in different different class when it is uh, Im uh, implemented or it is avoided in the child classes yeah so let's take another example so here what we can see is light let uh, let's just create a array so uh, yeah array of shapes okay equals to array of yeah we will pass on circle and in circle let's pass four point o right and now also pass the another circle that is of 2.0 right now let's pass a uh, basically square which is having sides of 3.0 right so we have created a uh, basically a array and now let's just for uh, let's calculate the area on the basis for the shape in shapes 
what we can do here is uh, simply we can call shape dot area right so we can print it here as print it as well so what we are doing is so here you can see we are passing uh, like its array and we are just simply passing on the circle square and we are just getting because of the reference we are passing is of shape class and all the child classes it will gonna behave the same because circle you don't need to update the code it is going to print the area in this for the all it is going to perform the operation according to the reference you pass so yeah it is it has calculated and you don't need to update any code so this is how uh, you can simply use the polymorphism concept and also what is the benefit of polymorphism and the benefit benefit of polymorphism is it is maintainable and extensible code it helps us in maintaining the code and uh, in extensible writing the extensible code helps in um, basically helps us in initiating the object with the common interface so as well guys like for example if we create how it is maintainable and extensible code for example if still we make a class triangle and let's have its uh, base and height yeah right base that is also double and we'll height that is also double and let's it is having uh, it is in inherited from shape class and let's have the override function that is how oh, what is wrong with override function area and the so it will be 0 0.5 into base into height right so we have created another class which is derived from the shape class and we are having this common function so let's see do we need to make any changes when we are going to like when we are performing any uh, when we already have written the code and when we are performing operations we don't need to update any code we can let just remove it and we can simply pass on triangle right with uh, three point of base into four point right so you don't need to make any update so it's an area um, array of so when you click on like it is all of the circle square and triangle have uh, parent classes shape when you check <coughs> sorry when you check the check the shape uh, it is array of shapes so how this is how and you can run it as well so guys you will see how you can perform yeah so it will work for all of them also guys this is about polymorphism and another thing which is uh, we need to take care like so the parent class is a shape and circle is a shape it is in, in is a relation always circle is a shape square is a shape triangle is a shape and when for example let me remove it and let's just make a function here function cal calculate area and here we are passing a shape and print shape dot area right so when we do this uh, so what we can do is basically we can create a uh, object of shape that is right and but we can create a function of a shape class uh, uh, so we are creating sorry we are creating an object of shape class like this and we can do one thing we can pass on in calculate area 
we can pass on the shape so it is going to print and let's mm, it is going to what what let's see what is going to print it is going to print the basically the 0, 0 yeah so in this if what we can do as well is we can pass on well circle and in circle equals to let's give it a 3.0 but here because it is taking the reference of of shape class you can also pass on the circle here because it is a pin class and it is then it is what it is going to do is it is going to basically directly call the circle itself class. this is how polymorphism works guys so basically same function it behaves differently on the basis of reference here but if you have passed upon the circle you can it it is going to give us the error and if you try to pass on the shape here yeah it is going to give us the error because in simple terms as well you can see like all shapes are like sorry all circle are shapes but when you pass on when you we have given it a circle and you we try to pass on shape so all shapes are not circle so this is uh, behave in this way so basically you can pass on when you have passed upon the reference of the parent class you can pass the child but vice versa is not true so this is how it works guys and this is how inheritance and polymorphism works together and this is all about polymorphism guys so basically polymorphism is refers to the ability of variable function or object to take on multiple forms so basically area function taking on the multiple forms depending upon the it's how we have implemented it so this is about polymorphism guys do let me know how you like this video and do let me know if you want me to make some videos on some other topics as well we are going in our next video we are going to learn about classes abstract classes and many other things so keep watching guys and do like comment and subscribe till our next video guys cheers bye